Welcome to DOT University. I'm Ryan, the DOT guy. Today we're bringing you a short video clip from one of our trainings, Cargo Securement. Now, this video, we're going to be talking about securement for length, which is one of the many things that you have to look at when doing the securement. So I hope you enjoy this short video. Now, remember, you can get the full video content at dotuniversity.org. The description is in the link below, as well as using our coupon code. You might get a little bit of a discount on this training and make sure you're doing frequent training with your driver. So I hope you enjoy this short video clip. Now, support us, hit that like and subscribe button and make sure you ring that bell so that you can be notified when we're coming out with new content that can help you and your team stay off the radar. So looking at this example, we have a flatbed trailer and I have a, a block, but we'll just say that, you know, I've got a 42 foot widget that's applied to this. It weighs 52,000 pounds. So if I'm going to go through and I'm going to secure it, first off, I have to secure it for length. So that means that I need to calculate how many devices I have. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to count my 10 foot sections. Overall, if it's 42 feet in length, that means that I have four 10 foot sections. So I know for sure I need to have at least four securement devices. Then I'm going to ask that question, am I up against a front end structure? I am not. This is a flatbed surface. I don't have anything there. So now I have to have a fifth securement device. Then I have to ask myself past the 10 foot sections, do I have a fraction of article length? Okay. That's where this two feet come in. So that means that this device just for length alone has to have a total of six securement devices. Now, when we go through and we apply these securement devices um, on here, again, we wanna place those out. Typically, we're gonna go through, we're gonna have the first two straps within that first 10 feet. And then we're gonna have an additional securement device for each of the 10 foot sections. So you wanna to try to space them out. Try to never have a larger gap than 10 feet. That was never really the intent of the 2005 cargo securement rule when it came out, but there are a lot of officers that interpret it that way. And just to save arguments, try to keep those gaps smaller than 10 feet. But get those evenly placed for the full length of that load as that, that device is now strapped down and secured for length. So again, we have a flatbed trailer. And in this flatbed trailer, I have two articles of cargo. Now on block number one, we have to apply those questions. The same thing, because it's not blocked or braced in the forward direction. So we go back to that portion that we just did previously. And remember that regulation state stated that if it's five feet or less, but more than 1100 pounds, it has to have two devices. So we'll go ahead and apply the two devices on there. Now, once it is properly secured, now we can take the second block over here that is up against, butted up against, okay, that device is 32 feet and weighs 5,000 pounds. It is in contact. Now, one of the questions I get right here that commonly comes in, one of the frequently asked questions is, well, Ryan, what if there's only a one inch gap? Well, if it's a gap, it's not touching. It has to be touching the car going in front of it. If it's not, they're gonna apply this rule. So it does have to be in contact. Okay, so block number two, we're gonna say block number two is in contact with block number one. So we're gonna secure it. Let's secure it for length. Overall for length, if we apply the, the quick uh, cargo securement calculation, we're gonna say if it's 32 feet, we first off, you have to count your 10 foot sections. That means that we've got three of those. So three cargo securement. The second thing that we have to apply is, is it against a front end structure or another properly secured cargo? It is. So we get to skip that one. The next thing we have is, do we have the fraction thereof? And that's where this two feet comes in. So total securement devices for block number two is four. We will apply those four devices. Go through and evenly space those, okay? Um, you know, try to keep those gaps less than 10 feet, but again, space them out. If you want to put more on there, that's fine. Totally up to you. Just don't use damaged devices, but at a minimum, you must have a total of four devices on section number two. Thank you for taking time to watch this short video clip regarding securement for length. Now you can get the full video, the full training contents at dotuniversity.org. The link is in the description below. You can click on that. Make sure you also use that coupon code that we flashed up there for you in order to uh, maybe save a little bit of money while you're training your entire team. See you on one of our next videos. Thank you for what you do. Mm -hmm.